Hip him. Can I get a cat? Can I get a cat? Can I get a cat? Ah, it's time to stop. Howdy, hey. I'm Hippio Tech. And if I gave everyone that asked a free keyboard, then I would not be able to afford rent. So don't ask for one, please. But sometimes the people that deserve free keyboards are the people that didn't ask for one in the first place. Actually, maybe that's every time. This video is about Grant. Look at him here. He's so happy he got a new keyboard. Wow. Now you're probably thinking, who the heck is Grant? Well, I found Grant from a Linus Tech Tips video. Unfortunately, Grant has leukemia, but through Make-A-Wish, he was able to get Linus to build him a custom PC. Not to be outdone, Logitech sent over their Pro Wired Gaming Keyboard. Pro Wired Gaming Keyboard. Now, no shade at all to Logitech, but I thought we could definitely do better. So I left a little comment on the video like, hey Grant, let me build you a custom keyboard. And he said yes. So in this video, we're gonna be building Grant a custom keyboard, Hippio Tech style. What does Hippio Tech style mean you might ask? Well, it's gonna be a little bit scuffed along the way. Just uh, stick around and find out. So first things first, we needed a keyboard. And I know what a lot of you are going to say. You're going to say, glorious keyboards aren't that good. Well, in this case, I decided to go with the glorious GMMK Pro. Now, is this going to be the best custom keyboard ever? No, not quite. But I think it's a really good foundation for someone to start customizing on. And this was basically the only keyboard that I could get a custom paint job on. But we'll talk about the custom paint job soon. Oh wait, soon is like right now. Okay, nice. So basically, when I was talking to Grant to figure out what he wanted, we discovered that he liked the color purple and he really liked the keycap set GMK Laser. So basically I messaged every single company I've ever worked with to try and figure out who could get a custom painted keyboard without spending thousands of dollars, of course. Now Glorious had a guy, Nacho Customs, and he did this up incredibly fast. I think his turnaround was like a week or two. So we've got a custom painted keyboard in the colors of GMK Laser. And guess what? It also has some other really good features too. Now, I've done a full GMMK Pro review, and previously I did bash on them a lot for these stabilizers. Uh, ascend! Ascend! Just freaking ascend! But they said they fixed them, so they're not gonna have any problems at all whatsoever, right? Right, guys? Right? Oh, oh god. Um, anyways, this has a knob. Look, it turns, it presses down, knobs. That's a British viewer. Stop. Oh my gosh. I also love the finish on the bottom of this. It's super glossy and it looks really, really nice. Oh yeah, some other features of this board that I think are going to be really good for Grant as a beginner, if he decides to get more into keyboards, is this is a hot swap keyboard. This means if he doesn't like the switches that I end up getting him, or if he just wants to tinker around a little bit and have some fun, he doesn't have to worry about soldering and desoldering and resoldering, blah, 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 blah. That would be pretty lame. Now, this is the part of the build where things start to get scuffed. I did mention that. I did mention I said things are going to get scuffed. Now, hopefully not the paint, though. That would, that would suck. So like a Denny's at midnight, it's time to get this thing open. This required a lot of unscrewing, and you're probably wondering why am I getting this thing open? Um, I honestly forgot at this point, but... Oh, it was tape. We're going to tape mod it. If you guys watch the Hippio Tech channel regularly, you'll know that we like to put tape on the back of our keyboards to improve the sound. This is called the Tempest mod, and I've got a video on it which will pop up in the top right if you're interested in learning more. Essentially, you put three or four layers on the back of your keyboard, and it makes it sound better. This is magic, it's sorcery, it's literally just tape. Why does it improve the sound so much? Who knows? But with that done, I was like, ah, oh, yeah, the keyboard is done, and we can go and install the switches, and that that's the end of the customizing. Yeah, sure, totally. Nothing else is gonna happen here. Look at these switches. So personally, I think these switches are really cool, and that's why I opted for them in this build. Grant mentioned he wanted something a little bit heavier to press. These are Texi Ice Candies. They're on the heavier side compared to most switches, and they're see-through, so it's going to look really nice with the RGB. It's going to let the LED shine all the way through, and there you go with a little bit of magic there on the keyboard. Ignore the spacebar switch. I was fiddling around with things. There's going to be a lot of switch continuity errors in this video. <laughs> Just ignore all of those. Don't comment about them. Nope, nope, that'll boost my engagement and you don't want to boost engagement by leaving a comment down below and liking and hitting subscribe. Uh, yeah, here's a close up of it just to rub it in my face. Oh no, apparently this was to show you the difference between the ice candies and a normal switch housing. Yeah, so it's it's clear, there you go. You know what else is clear? Uh, the, the choice of keycaps for this build. So generally I avoid GMK keycaps because of group buys. Uh, <laughs> Literally, I made a song about it. Top right, there you go. I don't care about class. 
existed. But when I was showing Grant all of the keycaps, possibilities, and everything, he chose GMK Laser, which is a set that just so happens to be in stock on drop.com. They sent these out for free with the build, and you can check them out with the link down below if you're interested. So with GMK keycaps, they're pretty great quality, but they do make the board a little bit clackier than I'd prefer. But I'm thinking the tape mod and lots of foam in the GMMK Pro will kind of balance that out. Oh, I should probably test the stabilizers. Ascend, not this again. Ascend, ascend. Okay, I genuinely don't know why I trusted Glorious here. Like, this was a massive mistake on my part. I should have checked the stabilizers beforehand, knowing that they had a track record for sucking. But I didn't. I waited until I put all the switches in to check, and I regret everything. This was a bad idea. I really should have just swapped them out beforehand. Like, the GOAT stable. They call them GOAT stabilizers. Like, greatest of all time? Are you serious? Are you, are you kidding me, Glorious? Okay, but like I mentioned before, that was like the main thing that I hated about this board the last time was the stabilizers. So I'm taking them out. I'm taking them out. I know this looks boring. This the, this thing that you're looking at looks boring. I'm unscrewing screws. That's because at this point I was going full copium. Like, oh, I could just fix this one stabilizer and I don't have to take the whole keyboard apart. No, it's fine. I, it, it was a long day. Anyways, eventually I realized, oh wait, I'm dumb, and just decided to take the whole entire keyboard apart. Now there's a reason I was trying to avoid this. There's like 18, 20 plus screws that you have to take apart, and this taking apart this keyboard is a little bit frustrating. But you know, the frustration is good for getting you into the hobby or something like that. Now what I'm about to do, do not try this at home. Don't you dare. Don't stop. I know you're thinking that this is a forbidden technique of removing a PCB from the plate with all the switches on it. Don't do this. Seriously, stop. I am a trained uh, hippo. Okay, so why was this such an issue? Well, they overcoated their stabilizers with so much lube, and they used G Lube, which is sticky and thick. I have just the thing for you guys. Just the thing. Okay, yeah, so I've spent like two minutes in this video talking about stabilizers, but they're really an important part of a build. They can make or break a keyboard build. So I used Duroc V2 screw-ins, I lubed them off camera, I installed them, there you go. If you want to get any modding supplies of your own to build your own keyboard, check out the links down below. Use code HIPPIO to save 5%. Okay, well, with that little detour over it, wait, the switches have swapped continuity again. Why is there a pink switch on the spacebar now? What's going on? Well, basically, I was just trying out a bunch of different switches to try and figure out which one sounded the best, and the pink Duroc linear, I think, sounded the best, but I don't remember if I left it in there. Also, Grant wanted a coiled cable, so Gloria sent one of their custom cables as well, and it happened to match the GMK laser colors, more or less. So overall, this thing looks incredibly gorgeous. The little RGB accent, ooh, I would be very stoked to get this thing. If you like the color purple, this is kind of it. It meshes together really well, that accent knob meshes really well with the accents. Also, I sent him a bunch of novelties with the set as well, so he can swap out the keycaps to his heart's little content. But, will Grant like the keyboard? What's up everyone, it's Grant, aka ZeroArc, and I got a keyboard here, sent by Hippio Tech. I would like to thank him for sending it, and building it, and taking all of his time to do this. Uh, I don't, I don't know anything about keyboards, and Hippio wanted to build me a keyboard. So I was like, hell yeah. But I'm currently using the Aseni 1. Uh, with the brown Gatorons, and I do I do like it. If I can get an upgrade, I'm gonna take the upgrade. This is cake to hell. I'm nervous. This is, this is um this is a big moment for me. Here we go. Oh my God, it's heavy. It's so heavy. So here it is. This is the case. Okay. Wow, that's awesome. It's like purple, blue. Purple is my favorite color. Oh, that's a sick color scheme. I know you guys can't see it. Sorry. Here it is. I actually don't know anything about it. He'll tell you in the video, but man, it's heavy. I like the pink back there. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, okay. I'm gonna be quiet so you guys can hear me typing. <laughs> oh my god. That's crazy. Whew. Here's the cable. You got an aviator cable, which is very cool. I've been wanting to get one of these. Actually, in the Lions video, there's there's like clips of me trying to get the some stuff assembled. There's a there's a lot of outtakes that he didn't include in my part of the video. Plug in. Ooh, that's nice. Oh my god. Thank you, Hippio, for the keyboard. I really appreciate it. I will 
definitely enjoy this. Please, everyone, check out my YouTube channel. It should be linked in the description. It's uh, Zero Work. I plan on streaming on YouTube and playing more games and uploading unboxings and stuff like that. It's really nice. Thank you, Hippio. All right, goodbye. So yay, he liked it, we did it. Honestly, this video was just very fun for me. Like I know I made a deal about the stabilizers, but whatever, this whole process was a great time. It was really fun to make Grant a keyboard. And it was really fun to get all these brands to come together to give him a keyboard. Now, unfortunately, I didn't record a sound test before mailing this out. Well, I did, but my microphone wasn't plugged in. So there's no audio. So I'm gonna have to leave you guys with the sound test that Grant did. I assure you that this board did sound very nice. Anyways, uh, please watch the whole thing. Some WAZ. <laughs>